Welcome back. Now we're focused on gift giving and who doesn't enjoy a well thought out homemade gift. Now this is a simple recipe that you can make and it's perfect for anyone who really wants to take care of or needs to take care of their hands. That would be all of us. I know mine can use all the moisturizing and nurturing they can get. Now this recipe is for a hand balm made with soy oil and it's really, really good and it only takes five ingredients. Now what you want to start with is a double boiler and if you don't have one, just make one like I did here. I have a slightly larger pan with some water in it, which is boiling, as you can see. And then I just set this one on top, and this keeps me from overcooking or scorching these ingredients, because really what you want to do is you want to bring them into solution. One of the ingredients is already in solution. That's the almond oil, but then we have three others here in a solid state. We have cocoa butter, we have soy wax, and then coconut oil in a solid state. And once this cools down, it will return to the solid state, but it's soft enough that you can use it as a nice balm. Now, what we want to do is we want to melt the wax first. And what I'm using here is six ounces of soy wax just immediately begins to melt. Now with the soy wax completely in solution, I'm going to add nine ounces of coconut oil. And it's called an oil, but you can see it's, it's very thick, almost solid. And this will melt down as well. What's great about this recipe is that, well, it's all natural. And uh, all of these ingredients are very good for nurturing your skin. All right, so that's going into solution. And this happens very quickly. It's almost like melting ice here. So making up this recipe really doesn't require a lot of time. Now with the coconut oil completely in solution, it's time to add six ounces of the cocoa butter. You can see this is in chunks or squares or cubes. And it melts very quickly. And what a wonderful aroma. It's conspiring with that coconut. It's almost it's almost as though we're making a big pan of brownies. Now the next ingredient will really add a lot of nutrient. It's almond oil, and we're using sweet almond oil, which is different from just ordinary almond oil. And I'm going to use six ounces of this, and what's great about it is that it provides vitamin A, D, and E to your skin. So I've just added that. I'm just gonna stir this around. So when you're looking in the store, don't just get ordinary almond oil. Go for the sweet almond oil because it's better for your skin. All right, so it's all in solution. Just take a look at this. And now you can add a fragrance. Um, you can use just about anything you like. I'm crazy about lavender. So I'm going to make this batch lavender scented. Draw up a full dropper of essential oil of lavender. You can see it's full there and I'm gonna just Drop this all the way in there. You want to experiment with this because you may do one batch and decide, hey, I want a little more aroma to it. Um, you don't want to get too much. Um, so try one first and just see what you like. But I found one dropper that size is about what I like here. Now it's just a matter of pouring it up now. Be careful, don't let it splash up on you like it just did here. <laughs> And um, what I like to do is just kind of keep stirring it so everything is kept in suspension. And then I like to take a cup with a scupper on it. And this makes it a little tidier by using a funnel. You just fill it up to that line in these fruit jars. I like these little small ones that are low. They're perfect for a balm like this. Now all I do is let these sit here until they come to room temperature. At that point, they will solidify and then it's just a matter of closing the lids on them and then placing them in a, a gift basket with say a towel, maybe a nail brush or something else. People love it. Give it a try.